Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Morning. Hi. Everyone say hi. hi. It is a beautiful sunny day outside and we are headed to church. Man, I look really weird with that eyelashes on. I look so tired. <laughs> I'm just noticing my face looks weird without them on, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, we are going to church this morning and we are actually finally, after like how many, nine months living in our new town, getting inducted as new members seven. to our church. Seven months. We moved here Eight. in June. Nine. February. I don't know. Something like that. But um, everything has just been so crazy with back and forth to Houston. We've been going to this church since we moved here. And when I say going, we've been trying to go every week, but it's been very sporadic. We, we are like... We are like Lutheran people. Like we go to church every week, but the last Look, several months of our lives hey. have just been, why is, he just spilled half a water bottle on his shirt and he's still not buckled in. Braxton, buckle, he just spilled the whole one. Time out on a Sunday morning. He just spilled an entire bottle of water all over his car seat. Why he even had a bottle of water? Don't ask me. Our four year old never leaves a dull moment in our life. Um, <coughs> Braxton, please stop. So, we, I am planning a family little fun day today, but I need a couple of things to fall into place because I have an adventure in mind. So we're going to bring you guys along. I got to get some things falling into place, but I have an idea because we don't have school tomorrow. We don't have school today. We're going to go to church, do member, new member, and it's going to be gorgeous today. Literally, I think the high today is 70 and I think tomorrow the high is 78. So it's going to be beautiful. And then it's going to snow again this week. I mean, yes. bipolar Tight. weather, bipolar weather in Texas. No. I tell you what. Daddy does not like the snow. Although you're going to Arkansas. Why isn't your seatbelt on? Because I was getting ready to deal with that. <sighs> He's going to Arkansas all week. Well, not all week. What, Wednesday through Saturday? Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday through Saturday. He's going to Arkansas for a coaching clinic. And so that leaves mommy to do all the things. But that's okay because I'm going to Phoenix the next week. So <laughs> even Steven, although I will say he doesn't have to, doesn't get to stay home during the day. But, um. I digress. Anyways, welcome to the vlog. He's having a peanut butter crisp bar in a minute. I'm still having my coffee and I, you would be proud of me. I did not go to Starbucks today. I just saved the cup from yesterday and used the coffee from the house. So yay me saving $2.76. Um, don't get used to that, babe. I won't. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he'll gladly pay the $2.76 to have a happy, confident wife because she's successful and clean. Right, babe? Correct. Do you have anything else to say this morning, honey? You're gonna like my surprise. If the sun is shining where you are, we like it is here, not. you've got to get what? out and enjoy it. Because it's, uh... Yes, mommy Mommy has plans that no one knows about. Why? Mommy's you working on things. Anyways. We'll check in later. All right, guys, so we just finished church. It was an hour and a half. My kids did fine for the first 60 minutes, and then I let them go to the playroom after they did our member induction because that's a long time to expect them to sit there quietly. It was way longer than normal today, but anyways, it was good. They're eating donuts, about to go to Sunday school. Brenton's gonna be there with them for Sunday school, and I am running an errand because, guys, Brenton still doesn't even know what we're doing. He's probably gonna curse me for this, but um, we are going camping today. Um, I, we've never been camping in a tent before. I bought a tent from Walmart. I'm about to go pick Thank it up. And um, we are gonna go to um, Broken Bow, Oklahoma and go tent camping tonight. We're gonna hike. I got a family tent that can sleep 10. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get hot dogs and s'mores. Guys, it's gonna be a blast. My kids were like moaning and groaning earlier that I wasn't taking them to Dangersfield State Park for the day. And I was like, you don't even know. It's gonna be so much better, but I literally have not told my husband. So I got us a campsite. I got us a tent, which surprisingly is really affordable. The campsite was like 20 bucks and that includes your parking. It's very primitive. Like it's got a picnic table and a fire pit and a grill. So I need to get charcoal and I need to get, cause we'll do burgers for Brent and I, and then some veggie skewers for our lean and green tonight. And then um, I need to get some firewood to make the kids campfire to do their hot dogs and s'mores. And then I'm just gonna get like chips. I'm gonna get them something for breakfast in the morning. Obviously we'll take our, we will take our fuelings. And then I think I'm gonna feed them at home like while we pack to go. Because obviously to take the seven of us anywhere, it takes some organization. And this was a totally last minute spur of the moment kind of thing, but it's gorgeous. And we haven't done anything fun as a family in so long. And so I'm just like, we're doing it, let's go. So 
I'm headed to Walmart. I ordered the tent online. I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to pick up the stuff for dinner tonight, breakfast tomorrow, and we're gonna go from there. Yay, I love surprises. I am a total, I love surprises. So this is right up my alley. All right, y'all, update. We are on the road. It's like one o'clock. Um, what? We're going camping to Beaver's Bend. Daddy, how do you think this is gonna go? Get back to me tomorrow. What are your uh, premonitions? I have some, uh, hmm. I don't even know the right words to say other than, I'm a little worried about our little city girl over here. We'll see how she survives in a tent. He has zero confidence in me. Let's just put it that way. Not quite zero, but you know, I'm not oozing confidence. Are you talking about way. me? Yeah. Are you excited to go camping, babe? I am excited to go camping. Did you go a lot growing up? Uh, not a whole lot, but enough. So I never went camping growing up. So all I knew what to pack was from what I've seen on like YouTube videos and TV. I think I did pretty good though. I packed the car before I even told Brenton what we were doing. So he has complete confidence in me that we're going to have what we need. Or that we will actually be roughing it and not have anything that we need, which would make it that much better. The fact that uh, she said she watched YouTube videos to figure out what to pack to go camping is, is kind of funny. <laughs> Whatever. It's going to be great. We're just going for one night. This is like a baby induction into camping. Um, I think I got everything I need except we're out of batteries for the flashlight and we need firewood. So I think we're going to stop. We should stop at the first place we see though because Broken Bow is so expensive. Where are we going to put firewood? Fair. We like are loaded down, like legitimately. We're gonna have to buy firewood from there. The kids were like, "Well, we should buy batteries here." Then the kids were like, "Why do we have so much stuff to go camping for one night?" And I was like, "Cause there's seven of us, and you guys eat a lot." <laughs> I mean, we didn't even have sleeping bags or anything, but I brought the air mattress and I brought blankets. <laughs> and Brent was like, "Where are we gonna blow up the air mattress?" And I was like, "In the car, duh." Anyways, we'll see how this goes. We're gonna bring you guys along. This should be fun. Good content right here. If nothing else, we always say our family could make a sitcom because never a we'll moment. Provide, we'll provide some entertainment if nothing else, so you're welcome. Peace out, we'll see you in Broken Bow. guys it's three o'clock I got my coffee they don't have a Starbucks so it's not as good as what I'm used to but that's okay I'm still drinking I did my cookie. She's still bougie it's fine I have never been a bougie person until well actually really until Optavia and then I kind of became bougie is that true very I look you even know what that is what does Braxton? bougie mean Braxton I don't know then it's how do you know if I look expensive. bougie <laughs> Do I look expensive? Yes. Mm. Wow. It's true. I mean, what else? So, we've arrived. Beaver's Bend, Oklahoma. Ainsley can't wait to set up camp. Ainsley. I can't tell if the baby's laughing or crying. He's something. A little both. A little both. A little both. This is feeling number four for the day. It's three o'clock. We are going to go for a hike after we set up camp. And then we're going to grill out and it's gonna be a fabulous night i am so excited are you excited babe i'm very excited this is gonna be awesome hey daddy i call the first hiking stick we find All right, guys, we'll look behind us. The we have a tent. It is up. Um, it's about 4.15, so we did pretty good. We're gonna, we got unloaded and we're gonna go take a hike now. Um, I'm feeling the need for some extra protein because we're gonna walk. And so I've got a little turkey roll up with some cheese and pickles. You gotta tell them the bad news? I'm drinking my water. What's the bad news? The bad news is oh. that uh, there's no plug-in in the car. I no thought there was a plug-in in our car for the air mattress. There's not. 
Abby's really going to be rough. Sleep it on the ground. Let's Better make a chiropractor way. appointment for this week. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go get on a hike before the sun goes down. We'll check in later. All right, guys. Here we are. We are starting our hike. No, we're not going up there. We have everything set up at camp except we don't have firewood. So we're going to have to either go get some or collect it when we get back. Collect it when we get back. What do you guys think of camping so far? No! I think that it's colder than I thought it was going to be. If you saw me, I'm all bundled up. It's hotter than I thought. You look good from behind, babe. <laughs> oh, look at this view. Wow. This is pretty. Hey, Dad, be careful. Daddy makes Mommy nervous doing things like this. Okay, y'all be careful, please. I'll take your picture, but get Brenner. Brent, hold him. Okay, I'm going to take y'all's picture. Everyone turn around and wave to the vlog. What do you guys think of camping? Camping is the best. All right, guys. So it is dinner time here at the campsite. And we are going to have, the kids are going to do little weenies. I'm snacking on some cheese. Um, They're going to do some hot dogs over the fire. Yeah, you're snacking on cheese too. <clears throat> um, Brent and I are going to have bunless burgers. So I've got... A head of lettuce to chop or to cut up for the bun of our burger. And then um, I won't use, oh, we have no sugar added ketchup. So I will use some of that as a condiment, some mustard um, on that with probably a slice of cheese. But I'm going to do some veggie kebabs too, which I'm super excited about those. So I'm going to cut up some veggies here. I've got some zucchini, some yellow squash, some red onion, and then several bell peppers as well as mushrooms. So I'm going to start skewering my kebabs and I will show you what they look like when they go on the grill. I also got some olive oil spray and some pepper to spray on them before they go on or to put on them before they go on the fire. It's just another way to show that you can stay on plan and be delicious even while camping. All right guys, I've got these beautiful shish kebabs that I told you about. Um, my kids are trying to burn the campsite down over there. Stop. So I've got these beautiful shish kebabs. I'm about to put them on the grill. I just sprayed them with some olive oil spray and then I did um, pepper on them. So I'm going to put these on the grill right now and that'll be our green. Got some hamburgers made here for mom and dad. I've got my cheese and my lettuce. I'm going to cut some pickles. The kids are having hot dogs. We're going to walk over here to the grill. They're enjoying the fire. And we've got our shish kebabs on the grill. They're looking amazing. It's kind of dark over here, but look at this delicious burger. I got cheese, sugar-free ketchup, a little bit of mustard, some pickles, and my shish kebab veggies look amazing babe do you want to bring the server okay. so these look super good and so this is going to form a complete and wonderful delicious lean and green i do have a little bit of salsa if i wanted to put on my veggies but there you have it guys camping on okay so i came up with cinnamon sugar sticks and ready whip instead of s'mores fueling number five last thing of the night all right guys we're gonna see how this goes it's cold. I don't know what the temperature is, but I'm going to walk down to the tent and show you all the babies snuggled up. Brent and I are going to sit around the fire for a little bit, I think. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. No air mattress. The ground is going to be... <laughs> They're probably all going to end up like sleeping on top of us. And we'll see who actually gets any sleep tonight. But I feel like this is memories that you're making as a family, and that's what's important. And I am super proud of myself because I showed you what I ate. I stuck to plan all day. Um, I got some gum in my mouth right now. I'm going to keep drinking some water, but I'm not drinking as much water as normal because the bathroom is a long way from the campsite. <laughs> so we're going to have to catch up on our water tomorrow, but that's okay. Um, I think we'll probably do another clip or two to add to this, but so far, so good. Like so. Oh, there we go. It's not so dark. I know. I got them all in here. So this is a huge tent. You guys saw it from the outside, but <laughs> it's really big. So we've got... Ainsley and Brenner over here at Braxton and Brayson are You stuff. see that little thing? He keeps coming over and stealing our food. Can you see him? I need to put a circle. Oh, there he goes. He can't steal if it ain't there. We He's put, gone. It, in we put it in the back of the car, but like he keeps coming over here and he'll walk up so close to you. And the only thing I know about raccoons is they have rabies. Oh, good Lord. Relax. Stop the video. Okay, guys. 
it's bedtime. I'm freezing. So the bad gonna, thing is, we're gonna go snuggle. <laughs> it's only like 53 degrees, but it feels like 43. It's so cold. But I just looked. I don't even think we brought enough blankets. As long as we can keep the kids warm, we'll be fine. We'll Body be fine. heat does wonders. <laughs> as long as the coon, you know what? We'll just invite the coons in. We'll be good. Mm, okay, guys, fingers crossed. We make it till morning, and oh, we don't we'll look. make it. Well, I will. <laughs> Bougie girl over here. I have been doing great. You just tell them. Have I done one thing today that you were disappointed in? Been awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is a little bit of a long vlog, but hopefully the humor was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys.